Hey guys, Ryan with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Today is April 3rd. It is a Monday. This should be getting into your YouTube feed super early in the morning, or at least by my standards. It's uh, 6.47 a.m. Baton Rouge time. I'm giving you the top 100 recap for the PWCC weekly auction number 63. Huge logo man flavor. Uh, believe it or not, it's going to be a big surprise that the top two ultra modern players, post 2018 players, take the top two spots. And then I narrowly lost one of the Rushmore cards. And I am absolutely astonished that I did. Stay tuned till the end. You'll see what I'm talking about. Really surprised. I thought it was mine. I thought I was taking it home. I had built up some funds to make this run. And uh, it may be a while until I see another one. So uh, if you want to see a sad sob story, stay tuned till the end. All right, let's get cranking. Speaking of uh, players that I have PC'd and invested in, a black 101 Anthony Simons makes the top 100. Uh, only a PSA 8, but sells for 34.80. One of the coolest looking LeBrons. This is his 2016 Mojo serial number to 25 in a BGS 10 black label that card really pops i think that's manu guarding him i can't really tell it could be tony parker but i think it's manu um i'd have to click and look closer at the picture sells for 34.80 as well and then the first card we're going to look up in card ladder is this true rpa anthony davis minimum gym that sold for 3480 i've got it pulled up holding relatively steady okay so 3480 3840 was the last one 4000 3600 you look at the last five sales it's down 14 percent he's been playing well when he plays uh it looks like the lakers are going to make it in the playoffs we'll see if that leads to any hype and maybe his cards and lebron cards can make a run we shall see let me know what you think in the comments about the Lakers. A Jordan BGS 7 does 3480. And this is what I want you guys to focus on. Wait till you see how many Logo Man cards there are. And it's not just like Kobe, LeBron, and you know uh, Steph. It's like we're all over the place. So we've got a DeRozan Logo Man and a Michael Porter Jr. Logo Man next to each other, both doing 3600. Both one, uh, uh, sorry, the DeMar's a one of one. The Michael Porter's a serial number to five Logo Man, uh, two out of five. A Doncic rookie encased. Uh, this is the gold parallel, serial number to 10, 8.510, does 3,600. And then a Damian Lillard, BGS 10 Silver, does 3,600. I did not look that up, but uh, that's about what was expected. Uh, gigantic Napkin LeBron, serial number to 75 from first year, exquisite collection, does 3,600. The PSA 9 Kareem sticker does 3,600. Not the best looking 9, honestly. It's a little off center left to right. It's diamond cut at the top, but I guess that's what keeps it from being a 10. It's a super old PSA label as well. 3,600 for that Kareem sticker with Worthy and the great Scott Wedman looking on. A Jordan BGS 7.5 does 3,600. An Air Apparent Ruby, uh, sorry, not a Ruby, but an Air Apparent Luka Doncic. These were serial number to 199. This PSA 10 on card auto. Really good looking card. I've owned this card and it's just a beautiful card uh, with that kind of that canvas fabric and then it's, it is a truly on card and it just really pops uh, 3720 for that Doncic Air Apparent Auto and that is a rookie card uh, Kobe Bryant Upper Deck Black Flags Gold serial number to 10 does 3720 another giant LeBron uh, napkin patch from 2003 exquisite this one serial number to 25 pop one none higher does 3720 that seems cheap uh, and I don't collect that stuff but that seems cheap 2003 Tops Jersey Edition standout selection rookie refractor like qualities, but I don't think it's technically a refractor. This LeBron does 3,720, and then a Jordan base serial number 225 exquisite collection from the original exquisite collection year 2003, and an 8.5 does 3720. A Tiger Stripe Zion does 3840. Keep that tucked that away. Another really important Tiger Stripe coming up. At least by the standards of Tiger Stripe collectors, I'm not one. But the Zion does 3840 in a Min Gem slab. A dual auto Russell and Bird, uh, two of the greatest Celtics to ever do it, sells for three thousand. I guess the two greatest Celtics to ever do it, unless you want to, um, you know, argue about. 
Paul Pierce uh, and Bob Cousy, but I think Russell and Bird would be the top two. Uh, serial number to 25, Immaculate Dual Auto 3840. The PSA 10 checklist for 86 Fleer does 3840. And then let's look up the Kareem PSA 7, right? This is sort of that staple grade uh, for Kareem collectors. Lou Alcindor, of course, at the time. Uh, this card does right on the number almost as the last sale. It comes down from a couple of, uh, well, three in a row PWCC I Appeal sticker sales in PSA 7. Uh, but overall, the card's held relatively steady, plus 3% over the last three months. So that's good to see for vintage collectors and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar rookie card holders. Um, another uh, Bill Russell duel here, except this one's an autograph and patches from 2008 Exquisite with Kevin Durant, serial number to five, does 3960. Uh, Durant, SP Authentic, Auto BGS 9.5, Jim Plus, uh, under the once revised, since revoked Beckett grading rules, this would be a BGS 10 Jim Mint card, but no longer. It's been placed on pause. I can't wait to see what these Fellas, tell us next week, if anything, I wouldn't be surprised if there was no announcement and this just went away eventually and uh, remained a long-standing joke in the hobby. 3,960, uh, a 2019 Panini Flawless Steph Curry Ruby does 4,200, and then a uh, Purple Jolly Rancher Doncic PSA 10 does 4,200. Those are serial number 75, by the way. A Bowman Sterling, Kevin Durant, gold refractor does 4,200. That's serial number to 75. The gold is a nice little jersey color match with those beautiful old school Sonics uniforms. Uh, those Sonics uniforms were just banging, man. And all of them were color match with gold, which really makes, you know, some Ray Allens and some Kevin Durants and some, you know, some, some cards like that out there really, really pop. And uh, this is no exception. Pop 7, 4,200 for that one. A Game Gear Giannis. This is a one-of-one -one sticker patch auto. Does 43.20. And then a true purple prism, uh, Doncic, also numbered to 75. So the uh, fast break purple 75 and the regular purple 75. The regular purple, of course, more highly sought after. As you can see, it outsold the fast break PSA 10 and it outsold it in a BGS 9. Dual auto Durant and Curry, who were teammates for a very brief time period, but they got it done. Uh, that's serial number to 49. It got a PSA 5. I don't know what the hell is wrong with this, but PSA 5 is pretty low for a relatively modern card. 45.60 for that dual auto. A Kobe auto, a LeBron auto, both do 45.60. Uh, let's look up this box of 97 Metal Universe Championship. So this is not where you're pulling the red and the green PMGs, but you can pull the championship PMGs, which have been super, super hot lately. They've got that scope pattern in the background, and those PMGs are serial number to 50. In addition, there's a bevy of other incredible uh, inserts coming out of this 1997 Metal Universe Championship box. But let's check it out. I've got that in Card Ladder. One of the cool things about Card Ladder is you can search uh, sealed wax sales as well. This is not in the ladder, but it is in the sales history. Uh, 4560 for this one, 4543 for the last one. So it's right on the number, right on the comps from the last sale about three months ago. But if we scroll back, 5100, 6600, 6700, 6000, 9000, 8600, 10,000, 10,000, 9600. If we get way back here, Somebody was stealing right here in 2020. So uh, that looks like this was uh, at one point up to around five figures, around 10,000. Now it's a 4560, 4500, something like that. So that should give you a pretty good idea of what those boxes are going for. Uh, two BGS8 Jordans go for 4680 each. The Interlake BGS9, which is a high grade for this card, does 4680. The gold 2012 first year prism, serial number to 10, Kareem, pop two, none higher, of course, does 4,800. A LeBron exquisite collection, enshrinements auto, serial number to 25, does 4,920 in that 8.5 slab. Uh, this one's creepy looking. It's another logo, man. Like I said, get, buckle up. There's logo men everywhere. 5,040 for this one on one Panini National Convention LeBron logo, man. Uh, let's check out the Kobe Bryant. 2012 Prism Silver PSA 10. Uh, I love me some 2012 Prism. Uh, this one's down actually over the last six months from 6,500 to 5,000. That's a big drop, down 22%. I'm scared to look at what it once was because I know it had been higher. Yeah. So at one point this card hit almost 12,000. It might even have gotten worse than that. It did. It got to 15,500. Today you can pick it up for 5,000. That's a three for one discount on the peak. Uh, but again. 
<laughs> it's all about perspective. If you look back to what the card was selling for just three years ago, in 2020, it was a $1,300 card, and it's up 266%. Wouldn't it be nice if your stock portfolio was up 266% over a three-year period? Nobody would be complaining. Problem is, our perspective hyper-focuses on what the most recent peak was. The blue Doncic, true blue, serial number to 199, BGS 9 does 5160, and then it's BCCG Jordan uh, in a nine label does 5160. Somebody's gambling here. I know they're not going to keep it in this stupid ass BCCG. If you don't know about it, Google it, research it. Somebody's going to crack this and grade it, but I've got bad news for you. I don't think this is going to match what some of these other Jordan, uh, it definitely doesn't look like that. I think this is going to do much worse. So somebody looks to me like they overpaid here. All center top to bottom, all center left to right, bad top right corner. Haven't even looked at the back. I'd take this uh, BGS-8 over this BCCG-9. So uh, new collectors oftentimes confused about exactly what BCCG is or what it means. Uh, research it, Google it, educate yourself. Scotty Barnes, true RPA, serial number to 99, BGS 9.5, 10 for the auto, pop 13 card, does 5,400. I've got Scotty pulled up, I know. Uh, here we go, 5,400, and it's going to get worse the further we go back. 5,700, almost 5,800, almost 6,000, 8,400, 17,762. So you're looking at um, better than a three for one discount on the highest ever sold for that Scotty Barnes. Again, started really badly this season as far as field goal percentage efficiency. Got to the point where he was almost like Ben Simmons, refused to shoot the ball, and he was just a uh, dribble drive kick, uh, rebounding, do all, all things, point forward type guy. Now he's started to score the shit out of it. I know because he's on my fantasy team. He's actually finishing the year very strong, which is good to see because he was in a dark place about halfway through the season where he just would not even look at the rim, and it was a disaster. Uh, part of the reason is he doesn't really know what his role is in Toronto. It's kind of a weird situation up there. I guess they're just still trying to figure things out. Everybody thought they would be sellers at the trade deadline, and they ended up picking up Pirtle for what reason? I don't really know. Uh, 2003 Upper Deck Glass LeBron Auto serial number to 100. BGS 9.5 does 5400, and then this Finite LeBron Auto does 5400. Uh, never seen this card. It's a chronology autographs gold Kevin Durant looks like it's on card to me pop one serial number to 10 does 5520 in that mixed gym slab what would mixed gym be under the revised since revoked BGS rules we don't know we have to assume it would be a mint plus just like the quad and minimum gym would have been uh, the 2003 exquisite collection uh, again another one of those dual patch LeBron's I thought we just saw one of these uh, serial number 25 does 5520. We saw what the Kobe has done. Let's see what the Steph 2012 Prism PSA 10 has done. Uh, here it is. Over the last three sales, it's up. Well, that's a surprise, to be honest with you. 5160, 5655, 5640. Uh, looking good over the last six months. I'm assuming, uh, yeah, a similar story to the Kobe, but not quite as egregious. Uh, but over the last three months, we're steady and even up here on that Steph Curry, which did 5640. A LeBron. Game you SP game used authentic fabrics autograph patch serial number to 100 does 5640 and then a dual patch auto Kobe serial number to 100 does 5880 and it's got a black uh, Mike Baker sticker on there and I you know say what you want about the Mike Baker stickers the black ones are really cool I mean I don't know what it is about black labels BGS black label Mike Baker I just think they're cool looking again I'm not the guy that's going to run out there and pay this hefty premium for it but I just think it's cool uh, PSA 8 old label Jordan pretty good looking PSA 8 a little off center top to bottom and left to right but the corners and edges look pretty sharp on this one just at first glance 5880 uh, Kobe exquisite number pieces 6,000 uh, a LeBron four color, five color patch auto, uh, not auto, just patch from uh, original Ultimate Collection. Uh, no, sorry, not original. From 2003 Ultimate Collection. I'm so used to seeing Exquisite Collection, but this is Ultimate Collection. Serial number to 50, dual jersey LeBron, 6,000 for that PSA 10. Pop two. PSA 10 is tough on those. Uh, and then a Barkley 
uh, dips a little bit from the last sale. PSA 10 Barkley doing only 6,000. Uh, a flawless three color patch auto Kobe serial number to 15 BGS 8.5 does 6,300. And then a super rare uh, quad pristine uh, black label, just nasty looking card right there. Anthony Davis. First year prism. This is the silver edition, right? So this is the silver parallel. Uh, BG, this is just a lot of about this card is going it has it going for it, but uh, except that it's Anthony Davis, but it's a good looking picture too. Six thousand three hundred for that one. Let's look at this Kobe. A lot of people were looking at this Kobe. This one actually jumped big. We've seen some Kobe's nose diving. Not this one. This is his uh, Bowman's best um, refractor uh, BP ten. PSA 10, pop 13, it is die cut in that bottom right corner like it's supposed to be. 6,300 for this one. I'm trying to figure out. I thought I had it pulled up. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, it jumped from 5,000 all the way to 6,300. It's up 5% over the last one year, so that's good to see for Kobe collectors. Again, not a very uh, high print run card. The next logo man, the next logo man to drop is this uh, serial number to two logo man, Admiral David Robinson, 6,600. A LeBron BGS 10 tops chrome. I think I looked that up. I did. I just wanted to show you the absurdity of what's happened with this card. It's only a pop 160. Uh, the card once sold for 74000 Today it's selling for $6,600. Uh, wow. That is a pretty tough pill to swallow if you're one of those owners. Uh, even still, over the last month, the card's down 20%, despite the fact that LeBron's return is pending. Uh, or he's back, actually. He's back. And so uh, and it looks like the Lakers are going to sneak in. Uh, maybe people are not believing in LeBron, or maybe they just think Pop 160 is just too much, even for a BGS 10. A PSA 8.5 does 6,900 for the Bird Magic. Uh, and then two really good looking Tatums in a row. First, the tie dye serial number to 25. PSA 10 does 7,200. And then this one I really like. This is the Mojo, and it is sticker auto, I think, but this is the Mojo serial number to 25. BGS 1010 makes it a Pop 4. Uh, serial number 25 does 7,200. Which of these two Tatums would you guys like? I, if you're a Tatum collector, uh, I. I never have personally liked uh, the, the kind of starburst pattern um, on these tie-dyes or on any select. I just don't like that starburst pattern. That's just me. I'm taking this Mojo Autograph 1010 all day long, any day, every day, and it's honestly not even close. I don't care if it is a sticker. Uh, we got an autograph Jordan from 2002 Honor Roll, Wizards autograph, 7200. And then the same autograph here, different year, of course, 2017, 2018. The Doncic outsells uh, the BGS 10 Tatum, 7500 here for this uh, interesting mixed gem, some interesting subgrades there. What the hell does BGS do with this under the new revised since revoked rules? Good Lord, that would be chaos. Two tens, a nine, and a 9.5. Uh, the National Treasures 2018 sealed box. I'm happy to own a sealed case of this product. I wish I'd have sold at the peak, but I did not. Uh, so there's four boxes in each case. This is one box. Let's see what this sold for on Card Ladder. Uh, again, they do track some sealed wax, so Card Ladder's got this in the actual uh, database. It's pretty steady at 7,800, 7,500. That looks pretty steady. All time, the box got as high as 17,000. Of course, that was in between 7,000 and 8,000, so I might throw that out. Then it jumped again, and then it, now it's back down. So we're looking at a box that's probably worth about 7,000, 7, 7,500, 8,000 at the most, depending on condition. A black diamond gemography Jordan autograph, uh, a BGS 9.5 mixed gem 7500. Uh, we got the LeBron X Fractor. These were serial numbered to 150. It does $7,500 and an 8.5 slab. And then the super rare Epic Signatures Wilt. Beautiful, beautiful blue autograph right there by Wilt. Whole name spelled out. Thank you, Wilt, for doing that and taking the time. Uh, BGS 9, 10 for the auto, does 7,500. Two more logo men. Uh, this one is a serial number to three, Manu, and this one is a serial number to five, Trey Young, 7,800, 8,100, respectively. I warned you there was a lot of logo men. I love this card. Uh, this is the Kobe 2004 Topps Chrome Gold Refractor BGS 9.5. That card does 8,300. The LeBron SP Signature Edition PSA 10 Auto right next to it does 8,700 as well. Uh, sorry, 8,700. The Kobe did 8,100. Uh, we've got a select draft selections. This is not the base, but this is an insert. Uh, but it is gold, and it is a Jim Plus copy, and it is serial number 10, and it's one out of 10, which matters to some math nerds out there. $9,000 for 
this Gem Plus 9.5 Giannis Gold Select Draft Selections. And then a 2004 second year Exquisite Auto, second year LeBron. Uh, PSA 9 does 9,000. That's a pop one. Just one PSA 10 out there at serial number to 25. We're pushing to rush more. We've got a black disco one of one from Select Zion 9,300. There's rumors he's going to be back before the end of the season. And it looks like Ingram has taken the Pelicans on his skinny ass and he is going to just push them into the playoffs. It looks like they might even push for the damn six seed. Who would have thought a Zionless Pelicans who were reeling horrifically? Uh, could rebound like that, but Ingram has been absolutely unstoppable, doing his best. DeMar DeRozan, mid-range impersonation, carrying the playoffs, uh, carrying the Pelicans into the playoffs. I might be able to drop down to New Orleans, go to a playoff game. That'd be really cool. 1961 Fleer Wilt, PSA 6, does $9,300. I think I've got this bad boy pulled up. I do. Again, remember the PWCC eye appeal sticker helps a great deal, as you can see. 6300 last sale, up to 9300 That is a huge difference. That's a 50% difference just about between those two cards. The card's done well over the last three months, up 61%. But again, remember, we're looking at a PWCC eye appeal sticker ender and then a beginning non-PWCC eye appeal sticker beginning. So don't just, uh, don't just take numbers and run with it. You've got to do more. And if you look at the last year, the card's even. But remember, we're going from non-eye appeal to eye appeal. So uh, there's no question that the uh, Wilt Chamberlain PSA 6 is down over the last year, but so are many other cards as well. Probably found the floor if I had to guess. A gold prism autograph, serial number to 10, but this is the fast break gold, does 9,600. And then a upper deck chronology Jordan autograph, PSA 8, serial number to 99, does 9,600. We're pushing, we're getting close. Triple auto, KG, T Mac, LeBron, the king, the big ticket, and then T Mac, 9,600 for that one. A case of opulence. It's only three boxes in a case of opulence. That's interesting. Usually it's an, an even number, but it's a three box case, uh, one pack per box, eight cards per pack. So I think if my Cajun math is right, that's 24 cards for almost $10,000. Good luck ripping that. Who? Uh, that's got to be. Uh, one of uh, one of the brothers, uh, one of the good Naz uh, or Sam uh, from Chicago buying that thing looking to rip it. Maybe I'm wrong. Just a hunch. Uh, they love ripping high-end wax, and we love watching it. 2012 National Treasures. This is Kawhi's True RPA, BGS 9.5. It does 9,900. Uh, I've got it pulled up right here. Uh, the card's actually steadied out. It's uh, 9,700, 9,600, 12,000. Wow. 9,700, 9,900. So the card seems to have found the floor. Obviously, a year ago, you're looking at a, uh, a card that was 3x what it is today. Uh, I just don't think, and I think most people would agree, I don't think Kawhi alone can do what needs to be done for the Clippers to make any noise in the playoff. Maybe went around, I'd be shocked. Uh, but it's going to be one of those four, five, or three, six seeds. I guess it's possible, but without Paul George, the Clippers are no threat whatsoever. Kawhi cannot do it by himself at this stage of his career. We've got this 1998 Hoops Bams Jordan. Anytime you have serial number Jordan from the 90s, you're talking about a pretty damn big card. It's in a BGS 8 slab, 9900 just shy of $10,000 for this Jordan. Where does that fit? It's actually way down uh, from the last sale, which was uh, about 10 months ago, 9 months ago, 16000 The card today does 9900 uh, it's actually been as high as 22000 in January of 2022. I wonder if it sold during the crazy peak. No, it never did. Well, uh, almost 25000 in December of 2020. So, again, here we are, almost a three-for-one discount on a serial number Jordan card from the 90s. A star 6.5 with eye appeal does $10,200. That's probably a good sign for that card. I'm surprised I got eye appeal uh, given how off-center, but I guess it's a 6.5, so maybe they're thinking it should be a 7.5. Uh, a Giannis Immaculate Collection True RPA PSA 7 does 11 1. And then a Gold Anthony Davis 2012 Prism PSA 9 does 11 1. And then a 2019 uh, this is a second year Doncic. It is the only one of one. I wonder uh, who picked this card up. I know those one of one Doncic uh, Prism cards are in high demand. This is a BGS 8, centering being the major culprit here. So close, man, if it wasn't for centering. Um, that might be worth sending to PSA. I gotta believe you're gonna get at least a PSA 8 with a shot at a 9. 12,600. Of course, it's a one of one, so who gives a damn? Uh, and then a blue Giannis PSA 10 with an NBA gold does 12.6. 
uh, which is actually a little bit ticked down from the last sale, even with the NBA gold sticker. And then the BGS 10 Giannis Red uh, is actually uh, does really well, and it's a big tick up actually for thirteen thousand two hundred dollars for that one. Also an NBA uh, gold sticker. Uh, one of the best rubies, uh, Kevin Garnett's in the world. This PSA seven ruby serial number to fifty is a pop one, none higher. So this is as good as it gets for the ninety eight Skybox Premium Star rubies. Uh, Thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars for this Kevin Garnett rubies card. Uh, and then here's the uh, here's the other tiger stripe that we needed to look at. We saw the Zion sell earlier. The Doncic tiger stripe. There's still animal print collectors out there. Fourteen thousand four hundred dollars. I've got it somewhere. There he is. Uh, I just wanted to show you the absurdity of the history of this card. It has gotten as high as sixty-six thousand dollars. Sells today for about one fifth, about one four and a half. Uh, so somewhere between a fourth and a fifth today. Um, Wow, what a ride this one's been on. It continues the streak of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 consecutive downward sales. Uh, I guess everybody who's bought somewhere on that timeline thinks that they're buying at the bottom, but they're not. Uh, but we never know, right? And you can't fault somebody for buying in uh, if they think that it's a good investment moving forward. But uh, an SB Signatures... This is the gold parallel, uh, LeBron, BGS 910, serial number to 50, that's 14.4. Uh, LeBron, uh, this is a Jordan 1998 Upper Deck Encore. This is a really clean auto right here. Upper Deck Authentics, Upper Deck Encore, uh, BGS 9, serial number to 50, that's $14,400. Good looking card right there. And then something near and dear to my heart. I've since broke uh, one of my PSA 8 1986 Fleer sets. I'll probably break another one. I was curious to see what this set would sell for. Uh, as a complete set. I think it's better to break them up and sell them all individually. Uh, if you're using somebody like PSA, I mean PWCC or Golden or, uh, or Probe Scene, uh, it's a pain in the ass to do it. If you're listing all 143 cards from the set, well, 132 cards and 11 stickers, that's a pain in the ass and a lot of work and a lot of shipping and a lot of returns and a lot of unpaids and a lot of listings. But if you've got somebody else doing it, I think you're almost always better to list it individually and break the set. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Maybe somebody just wanted it all done and over with. $17,400 for this one. Um, I don't, no, I did not look it up. I don't think, uh, I did not. Uh, and here we are on Rushmore. And yes, it, it is standing out in bright red. I lost this item and I'm freaking pissed. And I am freaking shocked. Really, really surprised. So if you watch Lillard, if you watch the Blazers, if you collect Lillard, you know they've shut him down for the season. They are trying their ass off to lose every game. Despite the fact that my Baton Rouge kid, Skylar Mays, uh, from right here in Baton Rouge, played in my AAU program, uh, the program that I was an assistant coach and head recruiting coordinator for, former EYBL program, Nike Team Louisiana, Nike Red Storm. Uh, Skylar Mays led him to a victory last night. So shout out to Skylar Mays and any Skylar Mays collectors out there at Shop Card Addiction. I know you're a big one. Um, the Blazers won last night by accident. They did not mean to, but they did. Uh, but this is, let's get back to the card. 2012 Prism Gold Lillard. I thought there was a chance I would win this card. I bid extremely aggressively. Uh, I lost the card. It sold for $18,600. It's serial number to 10, obviously. This is the creme, the creme de la creme, the best of the best, I, I think. Uh, one of them, Damian Lillard, uh, rookie cards. I've got it pulled up right here. Uh, there it is. 18,600 for this card. That is a 19% jump over the last sale. I was not expecting that. And I will tell you this, I bid way over comps and I got as close to winning as you could get without winning. Um, so I was the one increment down. Maybe it'll go unpaid and I'll have a shot at it. But I really did not think the card was gonna jump from February when he was on fire and it looked like the Blazers were gonna make the playoffs. But it did. It jumped a full 3,000 bucks uh, from 15.6 to 18.6. That's a 19% increase. Of course, we know this card has been, uh, it's been crazy at one point. Nope, I'm sorry, this is not the one. Okay, I'm thinking of another 2012 gold. Highest price ever paid for this card, and that's uh, pretty much why I lost it. Uh, but if we want to look at, uh, just real quick, let's look at the highest selling Damian Lillard card of all time. I'm just curious what that would be. 
Uh, well, there it is. Okay, it was the BGS 10 that ran. So the PSA 10 didn't sell. Uh, but hell, a BGS 9.5 sold for $74,000. So this is just a matter of timing here. Uh, but the BGS 10 on Golden, uh, back during peak 2021, right? These are all going to be 2021s, $87,000. Somebody picked up the PSA 10 for $18,000. Uh, it's a card that is near and dear to my heart. I still got to get it at some point. My Lillard collection will not be complete until I do. But keeping with the theme, let's go to the next Logo Man. And this one is a one of one. Uh, Tim Duncan Logo Man from Panini Flawless in 2015. 22800 And this is what's really... It gives me great consternation. Uh, it sets me into a tailspin. Am I crazy? Is there any chance that Trey Young will ever replicate what Damian Lillard has done in his career? I must be nuts, but he's a top 75 player, first ballot Hall of Famer, and likely top 10 all-time scorer in the history of the NBA once his career is over and done with. And this is Trey Young. Uh, and the Trey Young PSA 10 uh, gold prism sells for 24000 25% more than the Damian Lillard card. That seems to me to be bonkers. Congrats to whoever won that, but that's a damn risky maneuver right there. Uh, I've got it pulled up, and maybe the reason they went that route is because this Trey Young card, once sold for, are you sitting down for this? 180000 That's a Ferrari. That's two Teslas or three, depending on what model you want to buy. That's like 65 uh, used Toyota Tercels. Um, but this Trey Young card once sold for $180,000. Uh, last night it sold for $24,000. So I guess from that perspective, congrats. You picked up a nice discounted card. But man, that is a risky uh, proposition at $180,000. I hope this wasn't the same card that sold for $180,000 because that's a, even a sadder story than all of my sad stories that I like to share on my channel. But the big winner uh, last night was, uh, was the Zion. The Zion Black Gold selling uh, for... Thirty thousand six hundred dollars. It's a pop. Five, uh, it's a serial number to five. Pop two card. Uh, even though it's serial number to five, there are somehow ten graded higher. That does not make sense. That's a mistake. Let's look it up and see what the hell is going on there. Uh, it's obviously not correct. Uh, oh, actually, it is correct. So. Um, <laughs> This is an example of you can't always believe the pop reports. So the card's serial number to five, but it's been graded 12 times by Beckett. That's a very consistent, determined submitter uh, who kept getting BGS 8.5s, probably got a couple of eights in there, or at least one eight, and then eventually got their nine. But the card, which is serial number to five, has been graded 14 times just between PSA and BGS. So um, just a little funny comedy there to end with. But, uh, but if we look at the card, again, uh, sold for $60,000 uh, on February 16th, 2023 as a PSA 9, okay? We don't have BGS 8 in card ladder, so I'm going to show you the PSA 9. It just recently sold for $60,000. This BGS 8, they picked up for $30,000, so exactly half price. Let me know what you think about that disparity between a PSA 9 and a BGS 8. It's exactly a two to one ratio. Uh, let me know what you think, but it is funny to see BGS pop to 10 higher, but there's only five in existence. So uh, obviously someone was continuously grading the same card, hoping for better results from Beckett. And Beckett was uh, pretty determined not to let that happen. But maybe one slipped through the crack as we saw there were two nines. So uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching as always. Oh, you know what? We always recap. Sorry. Uh, Rushmore, Zion, Trey Young, Tim Duncan, and Lillard. Okay, I don't know. This is weekly number 63. When's the last time we did not see Jordan? LeBron, Kobe, Steph, or Giannis, or Doncic in the top four. This is definitely unprecedented, uh, and it's somebody out there. Uh, somebody snuck me on this. That really surprised me. I'm shocked. Uh, but Lillard, Tim Duncan, Trey Young, and Zion, two guys who have fallen from grace right here, a guy who is allegedly undervalued but uncollected, and then a guy that's completely off everybody's radar in Damian Lillard, uh, then we have an 86 Fleer set. We've got to get to card number six before we get a Jordan and card number seven before we get a LeBron. So interesting results from this PWCC Weekly Auction number 63. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if there's any way I can improve these. Uh, they get lots of views. People seem to like it. I'm going to keep doing them as long as you guys care about the results. 
I think we're seeing some cards move again. I think we're seeing some cards continuing to drop. It's just a really interesting time in the hobby where you've really got to do your research and really got to educate yourself and not just look at a graph. You've got to dive into the minutia of those minutia. Yes, I'm from Louisiana and I said minutia on my channel. You've got to dive into the minutia of those data points that are uh, what comprise these graphs and ask questions, look at where they were sold, when they were sold, what platform they were sold on, what grade they were how what the rating of the seller was whether it got paid there's a million things that you've got to uh, dive into and digest and process to make sure you're making good educated purchases not just to flip not just to invest but if you're trying to grow your PC, you want to grow it at the right price point so you have more money left over to continue to push forward in your collecting journey. It's not all about investing. I'm not saying buy low, sell high, but sometimes if you want to buy, you just want to buy low, right? You Or you want to buy appropriately at the very least. Anyway, uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you watch the whole video and you're still listening to me rambling, you probably should hit the subscribe button because it means my voice and my uh, volume are tolerable. Hit the subscribe button. It helps me out. Uh, the channel is growing quick we're right at 40,000 views a month and so we are starting to make some noise uh, at some point I'm gonna get rich and buy an island and only do Jordan content uh, and only collect Jordan cards and uh, and that's it but uh, anyway that's a that's a pipe dream anyway thank you guys for watching as always keep collecting have a great week in and out of the hobby on this Monday have a great week keep collecting stay positive in the hobby and peace <laughs>